And one of the great things about today, Zoe, has been seeing these opening rounds of the women's pair and the women's four and the women's double, the three new events to the Henley uh, program this year. We have Megan Calmo and Tracy Iser on the left-hand side, the U.S. women's pair uh, up against A.J. White and Miriam Godet on the right-hand side of your screen in the Buck Station. Just struggling with their steering a little bit here. They're going to have to move across. You can see the flag from the umpire raising up flagging for White and Godet to move back into their station. I mean, it's it's pretty tough in the pair. Yeah, good day and White from Cambridge University Women's Boat Club. They were both in the Cambridge Women's Boat this year that, that won the boat race. Both also with international experience, though. Goudet is a French uh, senior international, and Alice White has been part of the New Zealand team and also raced now for GB at under-23 level. However, this US crew are very experienced. Um, they are both Olympians and multi-world championship racers, so a difficult matchup for the Cambridge crew. Yeah, it is, it is really tough. We know that Megan Calmo uh, and Tracy Isa, they raced um, at the 2016 Olympic Games in the women's quad, placing fifth. They won the pair at the 2017 US Spring at Speed Order trial. So no doubt attending Lucerne next week, I would think, and I guess pending that performance, we'll see if they'll end up in the pair ultimately at the World Championships in Sarasota, Bradenton later in the year in the US, or if they might go into the eight or even another boat. The eight, US Women's Eight, didn't have their most stellar performance at the last World Cup. Unused, unused, uh, unusual for them to finish lower down the order. So these two women have obviously decided they want to row the pair, but whether or not that changes over the course of the season and they end up in a bigger boat like the eight, it's a wait and see. It's always interesting these post-Olympic years and, and seeing uh, what the seasoned athletes do. Of course, uh, Calmo is a three-time Olympian. She won bronze at the London 2012 Olympics. Uh, and Isa first raced for the US back in 2014. You can see a lot more bounce now coming across the course. I think this is from launch wash that's, and boats that have been coming, cutting across to get from one side to the other. Both of these crews handling it very well. The Cambridge women will certainly be used to it from rowing on the tideway. And this US crew, hugely experienced, they won't be letting that bother them. But it is a difficult course to come and row on. We found, you know, even in the international eights, we'd be rowing lovely at Caversham on the lake, and then we'd come here and the water is bouncy and there's a lot going on. It's very swirly. It's not an easy thing to do at all. That's right. It is a totally different game. I mean, we speak about how unique this course is. There isn't really anything like it in the world. I mean, it's a moving river for one thing. It's not often that particularly international crews who, who do fleet racing on still water would be competing on a flowing river to begin with. Um, and secondly, if they're doing it, it's possibly not going to be in a pair. So it's really tough. You've got a lot to contend with the boat wash, a little bit of breeze perhaps, which can be a bit swirly here, a little bit of stream, and then not to mention the booms, which certainly when I came here I was absolutely terrified about. Uh, when I was steering in the quad. So uh, it is very, very nerve-wracking, and especially in the pair, Sarah Winkless was saying that um, as an umpire, that quite often if a crew starts to get nervous being close to the boom, the, the oars that are on the boom side will then lighten off, which then further perpetuates the issue, of course, then pulling the crew further into the boom. So uh, you have to be really careful uh, with what you're doing just try and keep that pressure even, rely on the person steering to keep you straight or to move you back into the right position. But handling the course and the conditions very well here. It is the US women's pair of Megan Calmo and Tracy Isa who will take the win in the women's pairs. Fantastic to see this event on the program, of course, evening up the open men's and women's events here at Henley. And good luck to this Cambridge women's boat who have been racing in a four as well, so might have some more racing to come. Crossing the line there, quite a good day from Cambridge University, but it was Megan Calmo and Tracy Isa taking the win, looking pretty composed. <laughs> 